Friends, I have already opened up Adobe Dreamware CS6. You can use any coding software you want. Let me open up HTML document. Let me first have title Z index. Let me save up the document first. Z index property. So now to understand Z index, let me insert few divs. Let me insert the very first div to be div container. Div id container. Now I want to insert three div inside my container. So let me also insert them. Div id say red. I will insert red box. Let me close red div. Now I will insert div id blue box. Say blue. Let me insert third box. Div id green. Now let's have some CSS for all these divs. I'm using internal style sheet. So style Now let's have CSS for div container first. Say I want width of 600 pixels. Height I want 400 pixels. Margin let it be 20 pixels from all the sides. Now, let me have border to be 10 pixels. Let me have it solid. Let me have the color to be, say I pick any of the color. Now, let me have CSS for another box, say red. I want this div to be of width as 300 pixels. Height, I want again say 300 pixels background color red let's save up the document let's preview see now we have our div but I want to position red box absolutely in relation to container. So I have to assign position property. Let me give position property of red box to be absolute in relation to container. So let the position of container be relative. Now as the position is absolute, now I can assign top 20 pixels, left 60 pixels. Let's have the document. Let's reload our page. So it is top 20 and left 60 in relation to container. Now Let's insert another divs. Let me just copy and paste it up to be more quicker. I have pasted it two times. Let's have blue div now. 
let's width height be same let's change the background color to be blue now i want top from 15 and left 250 pixels let's save up the documents let's reload our page so this is our blue div now now let's have css for green div let me change the name to green from red now let's have background color to be green now from top i want it to be 80 pixels and from left i want it 150 pixels let's save our document let's reload it here so we have three boxes inside box container red blue green now we will go for z index what z index does is it positions our elements one on top of other say if i want to have red on the top or i want to have blue on the top right now we have green on the top so let's assign z index property to all of them red i want it to be 30 blue i want it to be 20 and green i want it to be 10 now what i will have is i will have the red box on the top let's preview our document see now i have red box on the top and green box on the bottom and in between i have blue box as the for blue i have assigned 20 and for green i have assigned 10 z index so whichever number is higher will be on the top so let's change green to be 30 and blue to be 10 let's save up document let's reload see green is on the top now so this is how z index property works but it is not compulsory to give 30 20 10 as your numbers you can assign any of the numbers say 3 2 1 3 is on the red so red will be on the top let's save up the document let's reload our page see but it is better to assign higher numbers and have higher difference in them. And if I will assign 30, 20, 10. Now it's easy for me to insert any other div between them. If I want to, I won't go and renumber all the divs. Simply I will insert Z index number as in between them. So this is done friends and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me in online sessions do contact me. Do subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.